Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And I am here today to share a quick and easy recipe for chocolate chip pecan bars. So let me show you what you're going to need. And by the way, of course, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. You are going to need some flour, butter, corn syrup, eggs, some semi-sweet chocolate chips, or if you prefer milk chocolate, that is fine too. You're going to need some brown sugar. You're going to need some pecans. Now I am using candied pecans. You do not have to use candied pecans. Regular pecans will work just fine. And you're going to need some white sugar. So if you wanna see how this quick and easy recipe comes together, stay tuned. All right, so first we're gonna start off making the crust. And in my bowl, I have my butter. And as you can see, it's softened butter. And I am just adding in my brown sugar and I'm going to mix this until it is well incorporated. And now I am just going to add in my flour a little at a time. And as you can see, the mixture is nice and crumbly, and that is what you are looking for. So I'm just scraping the sides of the bowl here just to make sure I've got everything well incorporated. And I do have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And so now I'm going to take my nine by 13 pan and I have it lined with nonstick foil. And then what I did, I took the butter wrapper and I just smeared it over the foil. Now, I didn't have to do that because it is nonstick foil. Um, if you don't have nonstick foil, parchment paper, of course, is perfect. Or if you don't have either one, you can just use your pan. Just make sure that you butter it very, very well. So I'm just going to drop the crust mixture in. and I'm just gonna use my hands to pat it out. And then I'm gonna bake this for half an hour or until it's nice and golden brown. And then you're gonna need to let your crust cool completely. So, you know, you're gonna have to let it cool. You're not gonna be able to pour the mixture on top of it if the crust is hot. So this dessert does take a little bit of planning you could even do the crust the night before, or the day before, I should say, if you wanted to. All right, so I've got everything all patted down. Like I said, I'm gonna pop this up in the oven for about half an hour, and then I'll be back. Okay, so my crust is out of the oven. I let it cool for probably about an hour and 15 minutes. I, it, I did end up baking it for half an hour. You may see some little uh, clumps of brown sugar in there. I just didn't mix it well enough. So that was my fault, but that's what the little brown speckles are. So now we are going to make the filling to go on top of the crust. All right, so I've got my eggs here and they are at room temperature. I'm gonna add my white sugar in and then I'm just going to mix this up. Going to add in my corn syrup. And next, I'm just gonna fold in my pecans. And like I said, you can use regular pecans. Um, you don't have to use praline pecans. That's just what I like. And I'm just gonna fold these in. And I did kind of give a rough chop um, to my pecans. You don't have to, if you wanna leave them whole, you can. So I've got the pecans in there, and now I'm just going to add my chocolate chips. And 
And that is all there is to it. So now I'm going to bring my crust back over and I am just going to pour this mixture over the crust. Okay, so I am going to pop these in the oven. My oven is at 350. I'm gonna bake these for about half an hour and, or until they're nice and golden brown. Okay, so here are the bars. I ended up baking these for about 40 minutes and then I let them cool completely and then I just lifted them out of the pan with the foil. So here it is and I have half of the bars left. I started cutting them and plating them so that you guys could see what um, they look like. So I'm gonna get a close up for you guys and you can see that buttery, crunchy crust. It's so good. And then you can see all of the chocolate and all of the pecans. This is a really rich bar. A little bit goes a long ways. I like to serve mine warm with a little bit of ice cream or um, whipped topping. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.